Wait a second. You put what where? Hey, what's up guys? So yes, this is going to be a conversation, a little short video all about my experience. So the main subject is going to be aloe, which I've been talking about in a couple of videos recently. And uh, the main health modality I've been using lately is different types of enemas. Okay, quite shocking, I know, especially if you're not really a health-related individual at all, and somehow you managed to click on this video. So, for a long time, I'd been into natural health, and I talked to a naturopathic doctor who is pretty inspiring, and I like the guy, and he helps out a ton. I find him very beneficial for my entire family's health, and for mine as well. So, he told me a long time ago that I should probably be doing enemas for overall health. And I was like, yeah, not really into that. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. So what changed, right? Recently, I had someone tell me they got rid of their sciatica pain because they were doing uh, coffee enemas. So that began my trek into it. You could learn more about it by checking out my videos called Coffee Talk Coffee Enemas or other ones that I've made where, whereby after doing my first couple of coffee enemas, I found out I have parasites. And it is the end of May, nearly June, and I have been flushing parasites pretty much this entire year. Still been doing different modalities for eliminating parasites, got videos on that. Anyways, so uh, this is all about aloe enemas. Um, the thing that I found out also at the beginning of this is when I started doing these enemas that my bowel movements were horrendous, like they would stink so bad. And now my colon is so clean and cleansed that most of my bowel movements simply smell like whatever it was that I was using to clean out my bowels. Um, so the other day I made a video that was about me passing a two foot long rope parasite and it's probably longer than two feet. It was like two and a half probably. Um, I've passed quite a few of these in the months that I've been doing these cleanses, and, it, and this particular one was all intact. That's the thing. Some of these come out in small bits and pieces, and I don't know how long they were originally were. But um, anyways, that's that's what it was. I ended up, you know, using this aloe enema recipe, which I found, which is basically like a half a cup of aloe and two quarts of, you know, body temperature filtered good pure water. Uh, after finding, after using that, first of all, when it was inside, I was like, wow, this is extremely soothing because some of these ways to cleanse yourself and get rid of parasites are not very soothing because they can be a pretty high acidic thing like uh, the lemon juice. I first thought it would be very uncomfortable to do a lemon juice enema, but it really wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. It was actually very beneficial because I also eliminated a lot of gallstones. I was really shocked. I've never had troubles with gallstones, but that was a way that I kicked out a bunch, which is you know improving my digestion on a daily, regular basis. So uh, I've been very thankful to have continually passed gallstones and liver stones, which a lot of people don't know could could give some of the same problems and you could be suffering from liver stones when in fact you think it's gallstones and then you go to the hospital and they take out your gallbladder but guess what it doesn't solve the problem because it was liver stones yes that could happen to people there are natural ways to get rid of those things but you do you i'm not going to tell you what you do uh, i'm going to tell you what i did and like I said, so this aloe, when it was inside me, I found it very extremely soothing, not only to my stomach and my digestive area, but my entire body noticeably felt better rather immediately when I put the aloe enema inside of me. It was quite amazing, too, that I actually did this, this in semi-late at night, which is not very abnormal for me. I'm a pretty late-night person anyways. 
Um, but anyways, the next day when I woke up, I remember my overall body just, I couldn't describe it any other way than to say it felt like silk, like my entire body. Um, my skin felt amazingly smooth and I just, yeah, there's no other way to describe it. So this is probably one of the most beneficial ones that I think I've experienced and I retained it for probably about 45 minutes because not only did I want it to help clean my insides, but I have found it beneficial for helping somewhat to remove parasites. I don't know if that's the sole reason I passed the two and a half foot one after doing that aloe cleanse. So that's been my experience. Uh, I'm definitely a big fan of finding a pure aloe, one that doesn't have additional additives. Stay away from the additives, guys. Don't do it. Make sure it's an aloe recommended, suggested for internal use. And yeah, guys, stay healthy. That's about all I wanted to share in this video. I highly recommend it. I, I mean, maybe recommends too strong, but I highly suggest it. I love it. I like it a lot. And I never thought I'd be a guy saying this stuff. Uh, anyways, stay healthy, guys. And leave your questions, comments, and like, share, subscribe.